All right, hey, let's welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are once again going to be playing some more uh, Minecraft Dungeons. I think we're going to be doing, let's see, I'm pretty sure we did Pumpkin Pastures last time, so we'll do Soggy Swamp. Uh, we also still have to do Arch Haven as well. That's probably what it wants us to do next. So we probably will do one of those soon as well. But either way, um, really fast, I wanted to just go over something real quick. So I'm doing about a uh, 1,000, or sorry, 2,000 damage roughly uh, with both both little uh, amounts of damage here, which is pretty nice. Yeah, pretty much basically 1,000, maybe like 1,100, honestly, more like that. But either way, um, I just wanted to note that if I use a mushroom here with the current cooldown of what I have, um, which is only the first level, we're going to go this to three, but I just want to show you real fast why. Um, it's going to be popping a mushroom, and that's going to give us about almost um, 13 seconds of mushroom eyes, which is like optimal to have that up all the time. As you can tell, it's still up. And right now is when it falls off. So I could pop my second one, but my th first one's almost already off cooldown. So we 100% already have um, like complete mushroom eyes if we have two here. But um, what I'm going to do is actually salvage this to get my enchantments back from it, basically. And this one has pretty much the similar enchantments. It only just doesn't have um, critical hit, which is okay. Because we're looking for fighting fighters bindings, which is the unique variant of the gauntlets. Um, but with those enchantment levels, I can actually get this back up to full. And what that means is, so right now we have 12.7 seconds of, cool du of duration here. And the 30 second cooldown, what this will make us do, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, we should be able to have one mushroom and have complete uptime of mushroom eyes. As you see that cooldown started down there. And then like maybe half a second later, it's up. So, um... That's really awesome, which means we can actually swap out this guy right now for a higher level uh, artifact, which will actually boost our power level a bit as well, I think. Just a tiny bit, at least, um, which is cool. Um, let me see, is this going to lower it back down? Yeah, it does. So I am going to use the Corrupted Beacon for now, just for a minute, so we can have that higher level uh, stuff. And then obviously we can upgrade our mushrooms as well if we need to. But yeah, that's awesome. Um, either way, let's jump into... Let's see, we already did Creeper Crypt. Creepy Crypt, right? Yeah, we did. Um, I guess we should do Arch Haven before we do Soggy Cave and Soggy Swamp. Let me see if there's anything worth grabbing from this. Get the sickles, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I think what I'll do... Ooh, this one gives gauntlets, actually. Nice. I think what I'll do is do Soggy Swamp and then go into Sog Soggy Cave. Um... Might, I might die, we'll have to see. <laughs> Hopefully not, but we'll, we will see, like I said. Uh, either way, we got uh, gear and artifact power is going to be 94 to 101 with our current power level, which is nice. Um, we don't really want to do this. And I think we could just do this, though. Yeah, it's definitely worth, definitely worth doing this next level up. So let's do Apocalypse 5. Forgive me if I have the sniffles or I uh, have to blow my nose during the recording. I'll try to keep it to a minimum if I can. But yeah, we should be good with just the one mushroom now. To be full mushroom uptime. Guys out. I'll chuck this over here just in case there's enemies. Oh, of course it falls into the void. That's fine. Let's go this other way, make sure we're not missing anything. I don't think we are, but just in case. You never know. There seems to be something over here, actually. I missed. Oh, just like a little side area, basically. Alright, fair enough. I think the feather, ooh, level up, nice. I think the feather actually does a attack, right? Okay, launches you into an extra powerful roll that stuns, pushes enemies back. Uh, second, 4.6 second stun duration. Interesting. It says activates roll triggers. I don't know if this activates uh, like an attack at the end of the roll. I think it just stuns it, but yeah, either way. Oops. I got stuck on the wall there, that was unfortunate. But yeah, anyways, we should be like pretty much set to go here. 
kind of do everything. All right, uh, yeah, let's do it. They are stunned forever when they do that as well, which is nice. These guys especially are the ones that I want to stun. I'm gonna pop a question there just in case, because there's a lot of enemies there. Not gonna worry about it. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 I'm dead. No! What the heck was that enchantment? I got like gravity pulsed and then burnt like super quick. What the heck? Double damage gravity pulse. Oh, okay. Yeah, that double damage is kind of crazy though. Anyways, got a crossbow, okay. Well, I didn't expect to just get completely one shot there, honestly, from that, but it do happen like that sometimes. <laughs> the feather's kind of funny, actually. Alright. Ouch. First, I'm not not risking it honestly. <clears throat> all right, the potion's almost all the way back up. Whew. Yeah, that was a little bit close, honestly. All right, anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> Alright, find the look the cauldron rather. Thought I said location for a second there. <laughs> Alright. Let's make sure we clear everything out real fast. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Nice. Got a little thing there. Alright, that should be pretty much all of them. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, doesn't seem to be anything else there. Let's head under. Gosh, what did I get one shot from? Literally what? I don't know what, but alright. I guess I'll just lose a life. Whoops. My bad. The double axe, as it's the current level. Excuse me. Oh, we got a venom glaive somewhere in there. Ooh, it has sharpness as well. All these are really nice, but yeah, sharpness is probably the best of the three. Double axe here. Does a lot of damage. I'll try it once. Yeah, seems alright. Anyways, um, go back to what we were doing with this guy. 
Yeah, it doesn't seem bad, honestly. Uh, looks like it wants us to go down, so let's head upwards then. Alright, some urns. A golden chest here with some mystery armor. Says it's better than what I have in terms of level. Uh, gets you a pet back, armor, or damage reduction, longer cooldown. Pet bat, okay, not really that great, honestly, but hey, there's something at least. Yeah, all we need is like a couple levels higher of our mushroom, honestly, and it would be like exactly or even over um, how much uh, cooldown reduction we need for it to be always, always up. It's basically always up right now, but, like, if I got even less than, like, a full second off of the cooldown, um, or, I mean, a longer duration, rather, uh, either way, I guess, but, yeah, longer duration would be better, then, um, that would be great. Hurt a lot. Ouch, that hurt a lot. I'd really like another uh, totem of regeneration as well, just so I don't have to use my potion quite as much, and we can save it for um, extreme cases or dire situations, stuff like that. Seems to be the bonus area, so let's check it out. Alright, we got a emerald chest, it looks like. Shadow brew, some arrows. Don't mind if I do. I don't know if this actually speeds this up, I don't think it does, but I'm just gonna do it for fun anyway. It does look like it's a little bit of a boost, but I'm not sure. It might just be a placebo. Anything down here? Secrets? No, okay. Just checking. Like up is the way it wants it to go. So. Alright, nice. That wasn't too hard. Any wards down here? Looks like there's a little, uh, <coughs> a little skelly skelly. Alright, let's head out. Yeah, having mushrooms is so nice though, honestly. Oh, shoot. I missed the little thing. Can I get out, out, out of here? First mystery armor, nice. Yeah, there we go. Two mystery armors there. What was this? What were these ones? Move speed, aura, melee damage, 50% fa faster roll, and 30% chance to negate damage. All right. Could be worse. Could be worse. I'll take it for now. <clears throat> All right. What else we got down here? 
supplies, nice. Take that. for these guys. I think they'll give us a chest as well, but I'm not sure. There we go, got a little bit of damage. Or, uh, healing, I mean. Wait, so... Did I need to kill those guys? I don't know. Anyways. Looks like I probably didn't, but it's fine. Either way. Oh, hello, friends. Take that apple for sure, thank you. Oh shoot, I walked into the freaking swamp stuff. Alright. This is the way we came from, actually, so let's head this way. Oh, I'll take the apple, actually. Thank you, thank you. This should be the boss here. Oh, wait, no, we'll go, we'll go farther, I think. Gosh, I heard a lot. Oh, nice. We got a level up. Let's go. Uh, how did we get up over to them, by the way? Aha, here we go. Ah, oh, whoops. Didn't need to fall off. That's bad. Okay. Um, there's a chest here. I'll gladly take. Uh, it wants us to go up, so let's head over here real quick. Uh, just a small little area. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, speed, speed potions. Nice. Alright, this is the boss battle here. I just need my potion, so we gotta be a bit careful as well. Oh my gosh. Let's get out of here for a second. <laughs> I think. Oh gosh. Alright, it's all back. Here we go. Hold on. Let's heal up a little bit first. <laughs> uh, ooh, we got a hunting bow. It's just not not better damage though, so it's fine. Oh, no. ooh, that was close. He almost killed me. All right, here we go.
worth healing, honestly. It's not worth not waiting. Can I just walk away for a minute? <laughs> Alright, push this almost back up. No, no, no! What? Are you kidding me? He spawned one behind me? That is lame as heck. Kinda of cheese it a little bit from this corner at least. didn't get it but we got it whirlwind it's a special unique uh double-sided axe that's cool let's try it out real quick just for fun actually because i want to see if this cost shock was ever you attack or if it's um if it's a combo attack i can't really tell honestly oh shoot i can't tell oh uh, we can tell the training definitely a little bit hard but we got it at least so that's good all right, let's check it real quick, and then we can end the video there. So let's see what we got first. What we got? What we got? And then we'll go to the trading dummy. Two of regeneration. Perfect. That's literally one I won, actually. So thank you. Um, we'll definitely replace this, I think. Nice. Good stuff. All right, sweet. Uh, looks like we got some daggers previously as well. Not too shabby. Either way, uh, let's quickly go over here and check it out. Is it every attack? Yeah, 
nuts every two attacks. Okay. I mean, it is pretty good damage. It's a little bit quicker uh, swing than my Stormlander. But, um, I don't know. I think Stormlander is just better. It's got some good enchants, though. If we enchanted it up, it would probably be pretty good. Especially with critical hit. Uh, I think I'm going to continue to use Stormlander for now, though. Because that thing is a bad A. Oh, but it's going to reduce our power level by 2, though. Oof. Maybe we should switch over for it for now. Wood strike, critical hits, freezing. Hmm. Is it worth it? Let's see. What's the the break threshold for the next one? 97. Yep. Shoot. I don't know, man. About the same damage, actually. I think. As far as lightning bolts, but it doesn't really tell me what the damage of the lightning bolt is, it looks like. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I think we will try the whirlwind actually for now. Um I do like Stormlander a ton and it's really nice. But, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see, I guess. What do we got in terms of uh, damage? Attacking target, plus damage will play the rest steadily to a max level, then is removed. Okay. Um, I think that one's pretty strong, honestly. Pain cycle. Alright, 20 some chips to spawn a circular area that heals you and all allies within the area. That is nice, for sure. Critical it's going to be useful as well. I think we'll do that one. Uh, gravity. I'm not really worried about gravity, honestly. Chance to stun enemies. Not terrible, honestly. I think... Freezing's better, though. Because I think it, attacks, it slows their attack speed as well. I could be wrong about that. We'll do that. And I'm not sure if we should do Voice Jack or Radiance, honestly. Um... Maybe we'll just do Radiance for now. I don't know, something like that. Um, let's see. It's just, uh, it's just, it doesn't change the ch percent chance, it just changes how much it heals, it looks like. Alright, that should be fine. Death Barter, Lightning Focus. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, let's try it out. Got the critical hit at least, which is nice. I think it'd be useful. So we have one more uh, level to finish and then we can get that stuff done as well. Looks like we just unlocked some more, another tier of the uh, seasonal rewards though, so let's go ahead and do this. What was that? Is that the the potion thing or what? The player revives to the remove of a tasty bone. Delicious. Oh, it's a revive. Okay. Cool. Honestly, I'll go ahead and equip it. Uh, what's the... Oh, cool. Uh, what is the revive one? There we go. Let's respawn. Yes. <laughs> the egg hatch is kind of cool, but I think Tasty Bones is a little better. My marks is still good. Alright, that should be it for this part. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!